welcome back to my channel it's me marie let's have a cup of coffee and discuss what i usually eat during my low iodine diet if you're a fan of takeout pastas like me sadly that's a no-no for our diet even typical breakfast food like eggs sausages hash browns are not allowed in our diet Even this seemingly healthy chop suey is a no-no because of the eggs and seafood. So, what am I really allowed to eat? That's usually the dilemma when starting out on a low iodine diet. But it doesn't mean that your food has to be bland. You can always cook your own food using non-iodized salt. So here are some of my recipes for my low iodine diet. My first recipe is my favorite herb pork belly strips. Here, I use some non-iodized sea salt, pepper, and my favorite Italian dry herbs. You can use any herbs you want as long as you know that they're not iodine fortified. For the side dish, I cut up some pumpkin or squash strips and sprinkled it with non-iodized sea salt and paprika. Then I used the oil and the pork fat earlier in the pan and cooked it. I know it doesn't sound that healthy but it's definitely delicious. Oily food is usually best paired with starch. Since I'm Filipina, rice is a must. Putting them together, I now have a plate of herb pork strips, fried squash, and rice. It's tasty and perfect for my low iodine diet. You can always use other meat or vegetables, just make sure they're fresh and not iodine fortified. And of course, always use a non-iodized salt. For my second meal, I'm just making a simple salad with lettuce, tomato, and apples. I made my own vinaigrette using olive oil, balsamic vinegar, non-iodized salt, and pepper. I usually drizzle a lot and I like my tomatoes and apples cut up just a bit bigger than usual. I had some leftover pork from earlier so I decided to cut it up and add to my salad for protein. You can also add other vegetables like carrots and onions or substitute pork for chicken. But for my case, I'm just using whatever it is that I have on hand and so far, it tastes great. For my third recipe, we already have a messy pan of aloe olio. Basically, you slow cook lots of garlic chips in olive oil Put some chili flakes and add some pasta water and this will be your pasta sauce. Then, toss your pasta in. Here, I already divided the pasta into two servings. One for my husband which he will put some parmesan and one for me which I will sprinkle with nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is a vegan substitute for cheese like parmesan. It's not known to contain iodine, but this one is vitamin B12 fortified. So there you have it, my Ali Olio low iodine version. It tastes great. Oops, let me clean that up. I hope you liked my video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel. Till next time.